Hi everyone, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can do machine learning inside Dataflow, that is actually Power Query on Power BI services uh, using the API of cognitive services and also uh, how you can apply uh, sentiment analysis, uh, keyword extraction, and also language detection. Um, Okay, so in this video, as I mentioned, I'm, we are going to show you how we can use apply cognitive services uh, like text analytics and um, uh, like sem semantic uh, analytics and also uh, keyword extraction and language detection on a data set that we have in Power BI service. So uh, I'm going to log in in my Power BI service, I'm going to uh, kind of look at my uh, workspace and i'm going to click on data flow so data flow is a power query in power bi service that means that you can apply changes on data so i'm going to click on create a data flow i'm going to get some data from blob storage so i need to click define new entities as a new entities so i'm going to get a data that I have is a uh, data about customer feedback on a product that I'm stored in my blob storage. So I click on text, on text and I put the link to the blob storage here and it's public value. So I just click on next to load the data in my power in my data flow in power bi services so as you see here we have kind of the same uh, actually structure that we have in uh, power query so i'm going to first transfer the table so you see that the first row is the header so i click on that to transfer that then i'm going to just look at the comments so here i have the comments about the product so it's about uh, customer feedback that what happened on the data so we are going to look at that and see that how much our customer are happy and how much they are angry also about us so i'm just going to remove other columns now i'm going to apply some machine learning and some cognitive services uh, pre-built ai on that so as you see here we have an ai insights there and click on that and if it's kind of it's going to bring some of the function for cognitive services for me so here uh, you see that I have tag image, detect, detect the language, score sentiment, and extract the keyword. So first of all, I'm going to apply score sentiment. I want to apply it on comment folder, uh, comment, sorry, column, and I invoke it. And uh, it's asked me about, well, because the combining there are from multiple resources. So I say, yep, please continue. And... Uh, it's give me a number between zero to one. That means that if the number is close to one, means these customers are really happy about our product. And if his number is close to zero, like this one, that means that these customers are not really happy about our thing. So now I'm going to apply another one. I want to use the extract keyword to see that what is the main point of the customer so i just invoke it and as you will see that is actually give me some of the uh, uh, main keyboard that has been used in that so he's talking about the widgets and the other thing uh, extra inventory and something like this so these are the main one that actually we have so for example for the first one as you see this says that i ordered three widgets last week and i just received them i'm very disappointed about packaging and blah blah so if you look at the score you see that the score is 46 it's not really high that means that these customers are not really happy about us so i put a name on that i put a name like uh cognitive service text uh, sentiment and keyword and then i'm save and close so when i'm save and close is actually is going to apply the 
queries, apply the all of the changes that we on the queries, and it's going also to refresh the data after a while. So now you should provide a name for that. So I put a cognitive series text analytics and I save it. So it's going actually to save the data flow is asked uh, to keep the data we need to refresh so you can set a refresh schedule or just refresh it now. And as you see that is actually this is our one so I close it and uh, you can refresh it just now to make that the data is available so now is our, our data available so if i want to bring it into power bi desktop i need to open my power bi desktop and there is a connector that connect me to my data flow here let's see that how it actually work <clears throat> so i'm open my power bi desktop here I need to log in to the same account there and just check my account. So maybe I need to switch the account. So it should be the same account that you have uh, or you need to log in through that. So I'll switch the account and I put my new account over there. So So when you log in now, if you go to the get data, you see that we have the options of Power BI data flow or you click on more, you will see that we have a separate one for Power BI, Power BI data flow, just connect on that. So it's going to connect to your workspace and brings all of the data flow that you have there. So I'm just waiting that it shows the flow over there. So here you are. So this is my data flow. This is the cognitive services that I have. So if I click on that, you will see uh, this is the one that we have. It's also provided preview so we can see what columns we have there. And it actually help us to see that. So you see that. So I can easily load this data set to my Power BI desktop and create some interesting visual over there. So just let me load it. Okay, so as you see here, now we have the cognitive services. We have the, actually we can see the one. So, uh, and everything over there. So these are the parent and also you can see everything here. About the coverage, if you ask me about that, how cognitive services work and which languages is support, so uh, just search for cognitive services uh, language support, second one. And there is a link actually that shows the update of the languages. So I, I'm sure that is applied to many different languages. So if you are not sure, you can go and check that how actually it works. So for the languages, so as you see that we have a bunch of different languages. So for the Bing search, for the language understanding, for the for the text analytics that I'm using, if I click on that, you will see that we have different language support, so which is really good. So uh, some of them are in preview. That means that still working on that, uh, but uh, is overally and is extending. So if you have you couldn't see any language here, uh, I'm sure that is going to be covered very soon. So you see that I didn't write any one here, any code here, and you access to the uh, kind of the codes over here. So you can also show that one as a, uh, as a data here using all visualization here. I hope you enjoy this. And in the next video, I will show that how you can apply machine learning there. So uh, you will see that how we can apply machine learning in cognitive search in, and in a Power BI data flow and how we can use AutoML and how we can consume our machine learning model over here. Thank you for watching this video.